Hello, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Audrey, and if this is your first time watching my video, I'm so happy you found me. Um, today I'm playing A Space for the Unbound. This is chapter three, part two. And if you'd like to watch the rest of the series, I'll put a link to the playlist down in the description, and I hope you enjoy. That's Miss Nicken. You stay here. I'm gonna go talk to her. Oh, okay. Miss Nicken! Ah, uh, yes, Lulu. What can I help you with? I'm looking for Raya. Do you know where she is? Raya? Sorry, Lulu. I don't have a clue. You know something about Raya, don't you, miss? Mr. Agung told me you have concerns about her. Can you tell me what exactly you're concerned about? It's important. Mr. Agung shouldn't have told you that. I apologize, Lulu, but as a school counselor, I can't discuss a student's private life with other students. Why? It would be a betrayal of trust. It's against our code of conduct, too. Not to mention, it could, be, it could lead to bullying or gossip. Now, if you'll excuse me, well, it's true. What kind of an answer is that? This is important. She has a point, you know. You wouldn't want her telling other students about your private life, would you? This is exactly what I expected. You're not helping. I'm helping now. I'm just trying to save you some time. There's no way she'll tell us anything. But... But she might tell someone else. Are you suggesting... Yes, now you stay here. And give me your lunch money. <laughs> Is this a stick-up? Yup, I spend the last of my cash on a date with Raya. That's rough, bro. Look, if you have a better idea, I'm all ears. No, okay, okay, here. I got 2,000 rupee from Lulu. Okay, I'm going in. Wait! Huh? What if Miss Nikin spots you? She knows you're Raya's boyfriend. You mean I need some kind of disguise? Mm, probably nothing complicated. Just borrow a hat or something from somebody wearing one. Fine, let's hope there's some convenient foliage, foliage to hide in nearby. Eavesdrop, Miss Nikin in Baxo stall. Lulu said I can't go in without a disguise, so I have to find a hat. Adma, where are you going? Okay. I'll try to find a hat then. Did I name you? Wobbly. He has a hat. What's up, bro? Hey, dude. How's the dog? Good, good. Thanks for your help earlier. Let me know if there's ever anything I can do for you. Well, actually, perfect timing. Can I borrow your hat? Sure. Luckily, I always carry an extra hat. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's an iconic one from a famous soap opera. Looks good on you, bro. Really? That easy? I mean, I always have a spare hat. What kind of a lunatic doesn't keep a spare hat on hand for emergencies? <laughs> I don't know. Right? Thanks. Hi, boy. Who's a good boy? Okay. So, how can I wear it? Okay, let's use the hat. Okay, where can I sit down to listen in without being obvious? A bowl of baxo with extra noodles, please. Coming right up. Huh. I ran into Lulu just now, Pram. Lucy Octavianti? Yes, her. She demanded to know my concerns about Raya. 
the way she talked, it seemed like she accused Raya of being, I don't know, like something is wrong with her. They don't get along well, do they? No, I don't think they do. Oh. Never mind. Pram, do you think Lulu is looking to weaponize the information I have against Raya? Did you tell her anything? No. That's good. Regardless of Lulu's motives, you didn't let Raya's private business spark another feud between her and her another student. You've done your part as a teacher and a counselor, Nikin. Thank you. I'm so relieved to hear you say that. I'm just a regular customer. So about Lulu. She came up to me earlier to talk about some peculiarities. I wonder if she suspects that Raya has something to do with them. What kind of peculiar things? You know, this Lintang fest? And you don't think a gong has been acting rather strange? It's odd. Pram, don't you think so too? Oh. I'm just slurping on my noodles. Nick and the Lintang Fest prepar preparations put people on edge, you know that. It's just hectic around here and people are all stressed out. Don't let yourselves get sucked into it, okay? I mean, sure. Though it still doesn't sit well with me. I have to read super fast. Hey, Prem. You can keep a secret, right? Sure I can. What's up? My concern about Raya. Really, genuinely worried about her. What's up with her? She seems like she's keeping a lot of secrets. She's carrying the weight of the whole world on her narrow shoulders. I wonder if everything's alright at home. Hmm. The last time Raya asked me out of the blue where to find fireworks in large quantities. What kind of high school kid asks something like that, Pram? She won't tell me the reason. What if she got out to do something dangerous? Should I notify the school about this? I'm scared. Hey, relax. Oh. Let's circle back to what we can do, okay? What can you tell... What can you do within your... Well, I should be someone... In case things are really bad at home and she has nothing else to turn to. It's that's right, and I already notified Agung about my concern. That's the best angle to approach problems like this. Try to see what you can do to remedy things. If there's something you can't do, there's no point sweating over it. Pram. Oh. You're so dependable, you know. Thank you, I try my best. Oh. Yes, just about. Why? That faculty meeting. Oh no! I completely forgot we had that af this afternoon. Let's pay and get out of here, yeah? After you. So Miss Nicken noticed it too. Whatever entity is out there trying to mess with the world is getting less discreet about it. Well, I better get going. Found a bottle cap and I'll be around for the Lintang Fest as well, so be on the lookout. Hey, you boy. Oh, forgot to pay. Pay for your back so first. Oh, right. Sorry, uncle. Good, good. High schoolers these days always take food without paying. It's a bad habit, you know. Now that you're full, go help Raya and work your ass off with the Slintang Festival. It's going to be the most unforgettable event of all time. So, what did you get? Well, Miss Nickin said that Raya was going to buy a large quantity of fireworks. But she didn't say precisely where she was going. Hmm, I see. Fireworks, huh? I have no idea what she's planning on doing with them, but that's beside the point for now. Anyway, I might have a lead. There was this woman who helped with the fireworks for Lintang Fest a few years ago. I heard the business crashed, and she's retired now. Still, she would be the first port of call 
if I wanted fireworks in a large quantity. Where is this woman now? I see her from time to time at the community center. I think she works with plants now. Oh, she's a nice woman. Gave me a bitter melon a while ago. Oh, I remember. Let's go find her. Right behind you. Okay, so the bitter melon... I think it was this way. Flower. I suppose I shouldn't just pick a flower out of some rando's yard. What's going on over there? Nothing. You're fluffy as always, Mungo. The fire was massive, but it was extinguished so quickly. <gasps> it burned down? Yo, that lady is not okay, man. <gasps> what happened? It seems like the community center was on fire. Oh, God. Madame Puspa? Puspa? Madame Puspa, please calm down. This isn't the way. Engulfed in flame. Glowing crimson. Okay. Ma'am, please extinguish the flame and come inside to talk. Please, madame, remember your god. My god. He will burn with every everything else. Madame Puspa, it's me. What happened to you? People, please don't crowd her. It's dangerous. Go find some proper help, please. The world is so much more beautiful ablaze. A crimson flower in bloom, all glowing transience and destruction unabated. Ha 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 Burn! Burn it all! <laughs> Stop it, madame! Get off me! What are those shiny things on the ground? They look like flower petals. Might be a good idea to hold onto these. Maybe they're shurikens. <laughs> what? What the hell happened? There is no way the Madame Puspa that I know of would do something like... Something utterly unhinged like this. First Mr. Agung and now Madame Puspa. Am I going crazy? Calm down, Lulu. You're not alone in this. You're not crazy, okay? What happened here is the same as what happened to Mr. Agung. It's a pretty safe bet that the same person is behind both incidents. Atma, we can heal her like we did Mr. Agung. You knew about Space Dive? Space what now? I don't know what it was. Or how you did it, but I know it worked. And we have to do something. She was one of my favorite people. And if I've lost her, then... Madame, please, go back to your senses. I need you. All right, let's try this again. Not Madame Puspa. Oh, the courtroom again. I guess it's time to put on my prosecutor hat like before. Right now, Madame Puspa is the defendant. Cease your threats this instant! Burn, let it burn. <laughs> Till it's all black and charred. Well, nothing left. Quiet down, you degenerate. Silence! Defendant, if you misbehave, I will have your head. The creepy laugh. As you wish, your highness. Prosecution, you're here. Are you ready? Yes, um, your highness. 
The court is in session for the trial of Madame Puspa. Defendant, your name and occupation. I'm a flame bringer! I bring glory to the unfortunate, the fervor of heat and light and flame! Okay. <laughs> That's intense. <laughs> the ducks are like, mm. That's what I want to hear. Defendant, normally I would have my guards look you away, lock you away for endangering my queendom. But we have suspicion that you might not be what you say you are. And this court's purpose is to restore one's true identity. Heh, <laughs> suit yourself. I'm the real deal. I carry the passion and intensity of flames with me everywhere. You'll understand soon enough. This court operates under principles of fairness and will hear any testimony you wish to give. Prosecution, I trust you know what to do next. I have to investigate the defendant's claims and present evidence. Very good. Your testimony, defendant. I'm the real Madame Puspa, the one who loves to set things on fire. Allow me to show the court my greatest treasure, a picture of something I love more than anything. Is that supposed to be fireworks? The piece shows fireworks erupting in the sky, a testament to my devotion to their art. Behold this powerful image and be swept, swept off your feet. These look more like flowers than fireworks. Everyone knows me as the firework expert from P.T. Bunga API, API Co. <laughs> what? <laughs> the arson was just the beginning of a fireworks show hosted by the Bunga Corporation. Now, more and more people will become infatuated with the beauty of fireworks. Nothing is more captivating than sheer destruction of fireworks raging in the night sky. Mm, alarming, to say the least. I agree, your highness. We will protect you, my queen. This reprobate won't get her hands on anything that could endanger this court. She's holding a candle, though. I hope this testimony has lit a fire under you. You must find the evidence that, the, that will point us toward Madame Puspa's true identity. Now go. Okay? So, I will gather some evidence find three evidences so i'm sure the flower pot is one. Oh my does anyone know what actually happened with madame puspa if anyone does it'll be her old friend and neighbor old friend and neighbor i mean miss sakar she lives in this neighborhood her house is decorated with flower pots Miss Sikar, Madame Puspa's old friend and neighbor. I should find her and get to know more about Madame Puspa. Okay, I think she's right there. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you Miss Sikar, Madame Puspa's old friend? Her old friend? I suppose you could say that, yes. I heard that all this commotion is because the community center burned down. And if that's true, then Madame Puspa is... Poor madam, she's losing it. Can I ask you about something? What do you know about Madame Puspa? Not much, but I do know her favorite flower is the same as mine. The beautiful flower of the Ahsoka tree. Kid, if you don't mind, could you give could you pick one of the flowers and give it to her? Maybe it'll calm her down. Uh okay. Hmm, this plan and some sort of logo. I need to look closer. This flower, it's similar to the one in Madame Puspa's photograph. The owner let me pick the flower. Okay, the flower will be useful as evidence. But I did check the logo. There are still a lot of things I don't know about Madame Puspa. Sorry, I can't help much, but I know someone else who might know her better than me. There's a Yaya-san Bunga Head Up Club member who used to be Madame Puspa's right-hand man. Nowadays, he seems to be busy working as a traveling salesman, kind of. 
everyone else just called him as the Doomsayer. Oh, I saw him before. Where is he right now? I think you can find him in front of the cinema. He said he was going to set up his stall there. Okay, let's check it out. This flower logo. Huh. Are there any clues here? Hello, kitty cat. It doesn't feel right to call him just cat. They might need a name. What should I call you? She ha already has a name? Tofu? Meow. Oh, What beautiful eyes you have there, Tofu. I always go to Ria Cafe to write, so I kind of know everyone. But I've never seen you before. What are you writing? My masterpiece yet. It's a chill story about having some coffee and talking to people. Oh, is that the studio's new game? Coffee Talk? That's fun that I would put this in here. How's the cake, dear? It's delicious, Mom. Can we come here again next week, please? Of course. If I touch any kitchen utensils, this place is going to end up burned to the ground. I can teach you how to cook, you know. Oh great, how many fire hydrants that we have? We'll need dozens. You surprised me. I'm sorry, I can't play piano very well. Okay. The cinema is beside the school, I think, if I remember correctly. What is that? A deflated tire? What is this doing here? Something's blocking the way. That flower logo. It looks like the flower emblem I the flower emblem I picked up from Madame Puspa earlier. Why do I feel like I'm seeing this logo everywhere lately? Hey man, is that your car blocking the road over there? Ugh, my poor back. What happened? My tire just burst and my back is killing me. Of course this would happen when I'm hurrying to deliver those decorations for Lintang Fest. Just thinking about having to drag the tire to a mechanic has aged me two years. Well, there's a tire right there. Oh, I can help you with that. You would? Tell you what, help me repair the tire and I'll get out of your way. Okay. The flower logo. I have to investigate the connection between this logo and Madame Puspa. It's time to get it repaired, but where should I get it repaired? Sir? Who can repair this tire? The general store is closed. It's locked. I think the owner is out. Bunzo's hanging out. Do you like cats? Like them? I love them. Even the mean ones that hiss and scratch you? Listen, cats are a living, breathing lesson in con consent. They aren't burdened with the human concept of politeness. So, if they're uncomfortable, they'll let you know about it. They don't have an obligation to let us pet them, you know. You have to earn their trust. That's a very profound observation. What can I do to earn the trust of a cat that's particularly spicy? 
spicy. Put them at ease with a special herb. All cats like catnip. Here, I'll give you some. Tell me how it goes. Interesting, so I got catnip. Good to see you, Cecile. And did I name you? Adele. Okay. Oh. It's okay. Calm down. I won't do you any harm. Come here. I never knew Swan's feathers were as fluffy as a cat's fur. So, I can't repair it there. Where can I repair the tire? Hey, Atma. There was a fire at the community center. Did you hear? Man, thinking it happened so close makes me nervous. I'm very careful about taking care of my equipment so there's less of a fire risk. Your equipment? What do you do? What? You never saw a tire repairing stall before? You've never had a bike? Motorcycle? Car? I wish. Well, if you have a flat tire, bring them to me. I'll repair them. I'll do my best not to start a fire while doing it too. Oh, that's good. Well, as it happens, I have a deflated tire. Can you repair this tire? You got it, Atma. Do I have any money though? Here it is, as good as new. Just like that? Okay. Sorry kids, you can't come through here. There was a fire nearby. Huh. Okay. So, I'll give back his tire. Nothing happened. Here you go, ready to hit the road. Thanks a lot, kid. You saved this poor old back. Sir, do you by any chance know Madame Puspa? Hmm? Huh? I think my wife knows her. Yes. Can I ask her a few questions about her? What do you want to know? What do you know about Madame Puspa? She's a very tough woman, that's for sure. Her artistic sense is out of this world. My wife said that her leadership was the reason the club won the award for environmental change at its peak. Can you tell me more about the flower logo? That's Yaya San Bunga Hidup's emblem. Madame Puspa's flower club. My wife was a member at one point. It was really successful, but I heard Madame Puspa fell out with one of the other members and stopped going. Something about a missing trophy, maybe? Okay. Who is the member that made Madame Puspa quit? Oh, that guy is known as the Doomsayer. Never heard of him? The guy is kind of nuts, to be honest. Likes to wear sunglasses, even indoors. I wonder if he thinks he's cool. The last time I saw him, he was going around the neighborhood preaching about comets and the apocalypse. Can he really be that daft? I guess he's just putting it on to sell his tal talismans. I think I saw him around the cinema earlier, trying to avoid security. That's where I'm trying to go. If he's so worried about getting arrested, then he must be doing something wrong after all. That's all. Alright, see you around. Let's check out this doomsayer. This doomsayer guy definitely has some serious history with Madame Puspa. He was last seen around the cinema. I have to find him. Let's get to him. I've never seen you before. Fran Dio Wizard. We'll call him Wizard. So the cinema is closed? Huh? It's all ripped. Is 
Is this the same cinema that Raya and I visited? It looked dilapidated, like it hasn't been used for years. First the cat incident, now this. Is this what Raya mentioned before? Something about higher powers? No point hiding, you crockpot scoundrel. I see you. Ugh, he's so persistent. He's in the tree. I didn't even notice him. <laughs> I am. It's my only personality trait. I won't move an inch until you get here. I won't move until the final reckoning. Until my dead father walks the earth once more. What? Huh? Huh? This is the Doomsayer's stuff, but he isn't here. He's... Is this... Ah, oh, gross, a sandal. Wait, don't tell me there's someone in the tree. You bet there is. It's the town swindler, the Doomsayer guy. I speak the truth. And what are you going to do about it anyway? You can't catch me. I've got nowhere to be. I'll wait here all day. You'll have to come down sometime. Ha! You wish! I'm not stupid! You'll arrest me if I come down. I need the Doomsayer to come down so I can ask him about Madame Puspa. How can I resolve this situation? Um... How can he come down, though? Those three guys? You, the smartass from last time. Huh? Oh, it's you three again. We prepared another quiz for you. Much better. It's a series of quizzes. Wait, I don't have time for any more quizzes. Oh, now you're too important for us, huh? Too bad then. You won't get this precious, um... Hey, you got anything? Yeah, that'll do. This precious letter Y from Yoman Gum Wrapper. That's one of the series and I don't have it yet. Okay, game on guys. What, really? I mean, of course. Get ready. What is a platypus classified as? So a platypus is a mammal. A swimming mammal. Oh, I'm impressed. You got this right. If you can answer the rest of my questions correctly, I'll give you a prize. Are you ready for the next five questions? Man, I have to work for that Y. Let's do this. Where was the 1998 World Cup held? I'm going to check because I really want the Y letter. In France. What a hit, son! All right, next question. What is the chemical symbol for gold? I think it's that. All that glitters is gold. All right, next question. Which of these is not part of a plant? Atrium, bark, cambium. I think atrium. An atrium might contain plants though. All right, next question. Which country hosted the 1996 Olympics? I mean... Oh, say, can you see? All right, next question. Who won the World Cup in 1994? A lot of um, questions about the World Cup, huh? Brazil, Spain, Argentina. Uh, Brazil. What a hit, son! Whoa, you're so smart! You answer all five questions correctly. Here you go! One Yoman bubblegum wrapper. It has the letter Y in it. Sweet, I don't have Y yet. Collect the rest of the letters and redeem them for the grand prize, a brand new bike. The value of any prize awarded to a winner may be reported for tax purposes as required by law. <laughs> Each winner is solely responsible for reporting... Okay, okay, I get it. Scram then.
Wait, so now I have one letter left to find. Yes. The N. Okay. Okay, but that didn't really help with the Doomsayer, though. My dog ran away. Oh no, you add my boy. He likes you well enough at this point. Take this dog toy, all right? If you see him again, use his toy to get him back here to me. His dog keeps running away. Hey boy, come here. You, the ladder guy? Oh, in chapter one? What are you doing out here? Ladder, what are you talking about? I just need to ask you something. Oh, right. That was just a dream. Are you a student here? I'm looking for the school security guard. You know, he's usually here guarding the entrance in his typical white shirt with navy pants and cap. Oh yeah, I know him. What's going on, sir? Is there any trouble? No, no, no trouble. I just wanted to see him. He's my son and he's been it's been years since we last saw each other. Let me know if you see him, will you, boy? Tell him his old man is waiting here. Will do, sir. Maybe he's at the school? A few moments later. What was that? This scarecrow looks creepy. I bet it scares more than just the crows. Uh, hey, speaking of fathers, I ran into your dad in front of Loka High. He wanted to see you. What? You mean me? Not possible. You're not conspiring with this ne'er-do-well, are you, Atma? You know a lot of your friends have been scammed by this guy. No, I'm serious. There was an old man in front of the school looking for you. He said he was your dad. Either you're a great actor or you're telling the truth. What did this guy look like? Old, sleepy-looking, green uniform. The father, is that really him? No, it's too suspicious. If it's really him, he'll be able to answer this question. What's his favorite soda stall? And what's the significance of September 12th? What kind of question is that? Just ask him. I'll know by his answer whether or not he's genuine. Until then, I'm not going anywhere. Okay? I'll ask him. Okay, so we'll go back to... The guy... Oh, you've met my son? Where is he? Well, it's a long story, but he didn't believe that you were actually his dad. He said he won't meet with you unless you can answer a question. What? That little twerp. I come to see him and he's playing games. Well, what is this very important question of his? Oh, what was the question again? What's your favorite satay stall? What's your favorite baxo stall? What's your favorite Soto stall? It's this one. Oh, if we're talking about Soto, Cat Cartono stall is the best in town. Ha! Huh. Just talking about it makes me hungry. On my birthday, I always used to take him to celebrate with a bowl of my favorite Soto. I miss those times. That's my answer. I hope it's what he wants to hear. Tell him to get over here and see his pa. I miss him terribly. Okay, sir. Do you have his answer? What's his favorite Soto stall and what's the significance of September 12th? His favorite Soto stall is Ka Cartono's and September 12th is your birthday. His favorite Soto stall is his birthday. Ah, I remember when I was younger, my father would take me to Cacartono's on his birthday for a bowl of soto. I say a bowl, but one time I managed to eat four. I threw up, of course. The noodles are less tasty when they're flying- Ew! Out of your nose at speed. 
Hard to enjoy Soto since then. But it's family tradition, so I always eat it on his birthday for him, even though he's been gone for so long. Oh, that's sweet. I miss him so much. Could this old man outside the school really be my father? I I must see him. He left? Oof, I can't feel my feet. Just gotta trust the process and jump. Three, two... Oh, oh. Oof. The crunch. You okay? Ah, uh, yeah, man. All good. Hurts like hell, but I happily take this over getting caught by the fuzz. <laughs> Thanks for your help, kid. You looking for a job? Your, your lie about his father was so convincing. It wasn't exactly a lie. Oh, sure. Anyway, I owe you one. Let me know if I can be of service. Well, actually... You help me take back my freedom. If you s need anything, come back and see me anytime. Why are you hiding? What do you sell? What do you know about the Flowers Club trophy? What? Who are you, kid? It's been such a long time that... Well, I'd almost hoped all the trophy business would have gone away by now. Hey, answer the question. You know what? Fine, I'm done with the bad karma. It was me, okay? I broke the trophy. What happened? It was just so shiny. I was just admiring it. Never thought it'd slip from my hand. I hid it. I didn't want Madame Puspa to ask me to pay to replace it. I didn't have any money, and I still don't. I tried to repair it, but there was a part missing. The part with the club's emblem, the flower symbol. Oh, we found that. I couldn't just give it back like this, could I? Look, it's hideous. That shape, could it be? Is this the part you were missing? What? How did you get that? Madame Puspa dropped it earlier after the chaos with the fire. Oh man, give me that thing. Then I can fix the trophy. After all this time, she was still carrying it around with her? Man, I feel awful. If I had known how much it meant to her, I would have just come clean. Here, you can have it. If you knew about the trophy, you must be a friend of Madame Puspa. Maybe you can convey my remorse. If you know about the trophy, you must know Madame Puspa. How is she doing lately? Eh, not so good. She just set fire to the community center. No way! She certainly acted very strangely. Oh, that's nothing. What? You know that empty field net next to the net cafe? One time I saw her in front of an old signboard there and she just froze with no expression for a straight 10 minutes. And you just stood there watching her the whole time? Yeah, it was scary. It was like she's seen a ghost. What was I supposed to say anyway? Just give her the trophy, I guess. Maybe that'll cheer her up. I'll do that, thank you. That old signboard in front of the field, huh? That's a good lead. I need to inspect it. It might give me some clues or even better evidence for the courtroom. Find clues from the old board in front of the empty, empty field? But... Riverbank? So how do we get there? Oh. Pops, I can't believe it. I thought you were dead. Dead? I'm not that old yet, son. Your pa is here, healthy as a horse. Yeah, my memory is kind of fuzzy. Well, you're here now. That's what matters. I've missed you, Pops. Hey, it's good to be back, kiddo. Thank you for helping me out, boy. I'm very grateful. You're welcome, sir. Strange, I feel like I've seen your face before. <laughs> he doesn't remember me. Oh, they're gone now. Something seems familiar. Let's see if I can tear these off. There's a flower. That's the company that Madame Puspa mentioned, isn't it? I need to get to the bottom of this. 
flower logo. It's the emblem. It seems like Madame Puspa has to has a certain connection to it. Advertisement. Can't tear this one off. The glue must be super strong. It's about the wonders of the internet and how it can be used to look up anything you want. I don't have any other leads, so I guess I should go to the internet cafe and search for some information. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. And no worries. I'll just give you some catnip. Oh, she's letting me pet her. I got an achievement with that. So the internet cafe, I think it's here. But... Moo, Mom, the billing meter is still running. I don't care. I told you to come home immediately after school. While you live under my roof, you have to help me with the chores. Yes, I can use that computer. Wait. What's that site to download MP3s again? Screw it, this A space site is hella slow to load. Not this A space site. Oof, that internet. That website. Uh, okay. I've never used the internet before. Really? What should I do? Look up Madame Puspa. Click on cat pics. Click on suspicious pictures. Look up. Let's look up Madame Puspa. Page not found. Weird. Let's look up uh, PT Bungai PI Corp. Found it. This is an article from a few years ago. Fireworks factory catches fire. Kills 20 plus. Several explosions have occurred at a fireworks factory belonging to this company. At least 20 have been confirmed dead, with dozens more injured, authorities announced on Monday. The cause of the blasts is still unknown. Onuratna Puspa Dewi remains unavailable to the press weeks after the event. It declared bankruptcy following the incident. However, Madame Puspa plans to continue to use the distinct Ahsoka Flower logo of this company. The logo will be reused for the owner's botanical club. CSR Yayasan Bunga Hedap. Pictured the company sign outside the devastated factory. This is it. The sign indicated the location of the burnt down Pitibuga API core. I got the evidence. Um, should I click on cat pics? Aww. Cat's party. It's a gif of a cute kitten, fuzzy baby. Anyway, I should search something else. I don't want to click on suspicious pictures. Win big. What is this? Should I click that button? Did I break it? Oh, it's just restarting. Phew. Anyway, I should search for something else. That's not a good sign. Okay, let's... Now I just have to click print, right? Whoever just printed something, it's ready to collect. Where's the printer? This is your printout, right? The price is included in the billing. Huh? The bill has already been paid. Oh, you're not the kid that booked that computer. Whatever, just take the printout. It's not like I'm losing money. The article will be useful as evidence. I think I have enough evidence for the court. I should show this to Lulu. Okay, let's go back to Lulu.
I have all the evidence in my hand. Very good. Are you ready to proceed with the trial? Yes, Your Highness. Cross-examination. Defendant, please repeat your testimony. I am the real Madame Puspa, the one who loves to set things on fire. Let me show the court my baby. The pieces show fireworks erupting in the sky. It says student council president followed by a scratched off name at the bottom. Um, Ahsoka flower. OBJECTION! When you said that this picture showed your greatest treasure, you were right! You might actually be right, madam. Huh, well thank you! I thought your job here was to prove me wrong, Spikey. Sp <laughs> uh, I have the object depicted in that image here with me, your highness. Prosecution, please tell me you didn't bring explosives into this courtroom. No, of course not. The defendant was lying about this being a picture of fireworks. The blurry image is actually a picture of this, a flower. Uh. Defendant, the court demands that you show us the photo again. See? You're right! They do look very alike. Interesting. The true Madame Puspa isn't infatuated with deafening fireworks. But delicate Ahsoka flowers blooming in a tranquil garden. That's right. Defendant, do you have anything to say about this? This... This flower. An Ahsoka flower? It seems like our defendant has been rendered speechless. I have other evidence, your highness. Very well. Please present it. Everyone knows me as the firework master. Let's give her the print news article. Objection! Take a look at this evidence. Why are you showing that to the court? Uh? Imbecile! You could be expelled from the court for this, you know. It wasn't the right thing? Okay. The arson was just the beginning of the fireworks show. Let's try this one. Objection! You just testified that PT Bunga API company is behind the arson. Yes, through me, I gave the order as head of the company. But that's impossible! Your Highness, take a look at this printed article. What am I reading? This is a piece of news from a few years ago, where a massive fire destroyed a fireworks factory. Yes, and the factory was owned by PT Bunga API Company. And the article clearly stated that after the fire, the company ceased to exist. It doesn't exist in any capacity. It hasn't for years. Huh? I see. You don't represent that company, madam. Nobody does. Do you mind revis revising your statement? Explain yourself. Fine. You're right. It did indeed burn down. But I didn't burn down the community center for the company. I did it for revenge. The city has never appreciated me. That's why. Only I know the true beauty of fireworks. My hands alone can craft them to perfection. I have other evidence, your highness. Very well, please present it. You're right. It might have burned down. The city would not appreciate me for what I did. Maybe this? The trophy? Objection! Madame Puspa? Please don't be too hard on yourself. Lou, I mean, the Queen is right. Do you remember this? That's. Where did you obtain that? I have located the man who broke it. He wanted me to tell you that he's sorry. 
that he and the rest of the club members looked up to you so much. Prosecution, so this trophy, yes, this trophy was awarded to Yayasan Bunga Hidup, a flower club that took on the logo after it went bankrupt and ceased trading. I see, I recognize it, yes, the real Madame Puspa is the chairperson of said club. She led it to such success that they gave her this trophy. You are known and beloved as the botanist that brought Yayasan Bunga Hidup to glory. Huh? Do you remember this trophy, defendant? This trophy? You certainly seem to. The evidence that has that have been presented point to only one truth. Madame Puspa, you aren't a crazed pyromaniac with a lust for burning down buildings. You don't even like fireworks. You love flowers, creating new life. You're an artistic botanist that likes nothing more than savoring the tranquility of gardening with your clubmates. The person that led Yayasan Bunga Hida to glory was none other than yourself, Madame Puspa. Good work. Okay, so now we need to space dive again and solve. Oh my gosh! What the hell with this fire? No, it's no use. That voice, is that Madame Puspa? Where did it come from? Something is floating in the water inside the well, but it's too deep to reach. Uh, some kind of pipe schematic diagram? What is this? Pipes and valves. The pipeline is a total labyrinth. And is this a valve? It seems like I have to find it to turn the water on. Sprinklers. The picture suggests that the water flow leads to these four pipes above. I have to figure out which pipe to let the water into. Okay. So A is connected to 3, 1, 5, 9, 11. That's a lot of valves. 6, 5, wait. Huh. Oh my god! The valve handle might come in useful. Pipe wheel. I need a handle to turn it on. So I have two pipe wheels and no handles. But there was something floating in the water. But how do I reach it? I don't want to go there. Okay. I need a handle. It's too deep to reach. Can I use this? Can I use this? No. So how do I reach it? There she is! Madame Puspa, I'm here to save you! No one appreciates me, no one in this town. Just, just leave me be. Ow, it is hot! This fire, it feels real. I can't get any closer, I'll have to put out this fire first. Well, I know I have to put out the fire, but...
so there's a ch kind of chest here or a box. It's locked. Ouch is hot. Okay. I'll have to put out this fire first. Okay. So let's take this back. Oh no. Okay. And it's something is floating. Wet key. So this opens that. It's open. What's inside? Pipe wheel. Another valve valve handle. Might be might come in handy. Okay. So we turned on B and we turned on D? No, C. So now we have to turn on A. So how do we turn on A? A is three, one, one, three, five. Seven. Three, one. There's a six or a seven. So seven doesn't work. gonna try them all. <laughs> oh, so that's D. So let's try to figure this out. So one, three, ten is D. How is it D? One, three, Ten. So A is three. The one doesn't work. The five either. Okay. There's another path. So the three, it, it branches out to the right. Three, eight. Let's try three, eight. I think this is the right valve configuration. It worked. The flowers, they're so vibrant. This feeling, I thought it was suffocating, but maybe it's actually joy. I completely forgotten how exhilarating it can be to raise something so beautiful. Oh no. Good day, ma'am.
Raya, isn't it? Here are the flowers for the festival. Thank you for choosing us for such a big order. The pleasure is mine, ma'am, but I still need something else. Oh, what is it? Do you want more camellia? Or maybe aster? They're so cheaper. They're cheaper this season. No, not that. I'm afraid I have to ask you to make firework, ma'am. I can't find any other crafters. What? Raya, you know I can't. I know, but I thought maybe if I help... No, dear, I'm sorry. But... Please, don't ask me again. You're being disrespectful. No means no, missy. You have to respect other older people, kid. I guess what Lucy said about you is true. What is... Who is Lucy? Oh, right. Her classmates called her Lulu. No, not this again. I don't want to hear it. You're the Raya from her class who didn't have any friends, right? They said you're kind of a reserved girl. Why do people keep saying things I want to forget? You can't live like that, my dear. No wonder you can't convince other fireworks suppliers to get what you need. I bet Lucy could do it easily. Oh, that's so mean. Please stop comparing me with Lulu. Oh, I know. It must be hard for you to be committee president, right? How about you ask Lucy for help? She's always reliable on things like this. You think I'm not reliable? Uh-oh. Why are things like this? Even here, I can't make the world the way I want it. I just have to go to that other place with the fireworks. I don't need her. Raya, what? They're gone. Just like with Mr. Agung, what now? A flower? It looks like a lily, but it has a double bloom. It has a tag on it. Dearest Miss Lucy. So these are all Lucy's. The medallion, the flower. Hmm. Finally calmed down, are you, madam? Well, that's a relief. Somebody get a, a glass of water, will you? Madam, have you come to your senses? Yes. I'm sorry for causing a scene. I don't know what came over me. Thanks for your help, kids. Madam Puspa, what's the last thing you remember before all this? There was this girl, short, dark hair, wearing a school uniform like yours. Raya? Yes, that's her name, Raya. She asked me to make her some fireworks. I told her I'm no longer in that business. My skills are rusty and I don't have access to the ingredients anymore. It's exactly like what I saw in the space dive. She seemed annoyed when I told her. Said something about going to an uncle, uncle buddy, booty, maybe? I don't remember anything after that. Uncle booty or buddy? That's Eric's father. Why would Raya go to Eric's father? He owns the general store, remember? Maybe she was hoping that he would have some for sale. Speaking of Eric, he hasn't been going to school, has he? What happened to Eric? Crap. Well, I guess he's just skipping school like normal, right? You really don't know Eric very well, do you, Atma? He's not going anywhere without his, his gang. And last time I checked, they were all at school doing the prep for Lintang Fest. And hey, don't you think that's pretty weird too? Since when did they care about anything school related? Anyhow, Madame Puspa, I'm so glad you're okay. Uh, thanks kid. For a minute there, I thought we'd have to hospitalize you or something. Maybe I can check in on you in a couple of days? I still owe you so much from before. I'm sorry. Have we met? Huh? You don't remember me? It's me, Lucy. Nope. I mean, you seem like a sweet kid, so I feel rude saying this, but we've never met. Lulu? Never mind. My apologies, madam. I think she needs to rest. I'll help her home. Thank you. Ugh, again with Raya. It must be her. 
I always knew she was a freak. I was only a, it was only a matter of time before she did something like this. Lulu, you shouldn't call her a freak. Don't judge other people so harshly. Come on, Atma. I know you're her boyfriend, but why do you keep defending her? The Raya I know is always kind to others. I have no idea why she lost control, but something is very wrong. We should find her and hear her out first. You should... You still trust her, even after all this. I don't know if that's adorable or pathetic. All I'm asking is that you give her a chance to explain. I want to give her a chance, but what she did to Madame Puspa is unforgivable. That poor woman. You seem to care about Madame quite a bit. I do. She used to call me Lucy because I reminded her of this oriental lily flower that she had, but she just forgot me. That must be hard. Huh? What a coincidence. I found a lily flower earlier. Yeah, a lily just like... Oh no, she's glitching. Huh? What is this? Why are you giving me a flower? Well, you just... No time for that. Let's go to the general store. Go to the general store. Okay. Something very weird is going on. And we still didn't find the dog. What? The duck ran into the alley. Let's chase after it. What? Why is that duck staring at me? Because he found his sibling. Qua uh Good duck. Stay still, okay? Oh, so that gave me an achievement. Who is that? My baby girl is home. Huh? You like that man? No, my poor baby. <laughs> so it's open. Uncle Buddy must be inside. What's going on? The store. Something isn't right. I'm not sure what, but we should be careful. If you still have anything else to do, go do that first. Should we go see Uncle Buddy now? Uh, let's go inside. Great, I'm starting to worry. I hope Uncle Buddy's okay. He has a shiny forehead. Um. Ah, welcome. What do you want to buy? Hello, Uncle Buddy. Have you seen Raya today by any chance? Er, oh. What is happening? Ah, welcome. What do you want to buy? Oh no! This again? Uncle Buddy, snap out of it! Where's your son? Why hasn't he been going to school? Son? I don't have a son. What? What the hell is going on around here? First Mr. Agung, then Madame Puspa. Now you don't even remember your own son? What is going on here? It's Raya, isn't it? Uncle Buddy! Your son is Eric. Eric Priambodo. You have to remember him. He's your only son. Eric? Ah, yes, Eric. You remember? Eric is not here anymore. I don't need such a petulant child. You kicked him out? No, that's impossible. Uncle, I know you. You never abandon your only son. Don't... Don't speak to me like that. 
Please, Uncle, Eric might be a difficult kid, but he loves and respects you so much. Remember when you dropped him off on the first day of school? He clung to you because he was so scared of not having you by his side. Terrified of not having you by his side. That's how much he loves you. Stop. And when he got into that motorbike accident, you were with him all day and all night in the hospital. I... I don't... You two only have each other. No. I hate him. You kids these days don't know how to respect your elders. Eric, and you, impertinent child! <gasps> Let me go! Uncle, what are you doing? Shut up! I need to space dive right now! No time to lose! Did he hit her? Holy crap, what happened here? Where's Lulu and the defendant? You petulant child. Oh boy. That's Lulu's voice. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Uncle Buddy! What happened to you? Shut up! Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Leave her alone! Let her go this instant! Oh boy. Come here! I can take you. So we have to fight? I'll fight you. Eric's father. I said don't talk back! Eric, how dare you treat your father like this! Not Eric, Uncle. Open your eyes. My son. This is my chance to save Lulu and Uncle Buddy. My son, where are you? What is that? What time do you call this then? Why do you care? I'm just going out with my friends. You're going out with those good-for-nothings again, aren't you? Spending your time reviving up your bike, speeding on the roads, and being a menace to society. I told you not to speak about my friends that way. They're a bad influence, Eric. Would it kill you to just stay out of my life, old man? Whatever. I'm leaving again. What do you think this is? A hotel? Eric, come back here. I'm still talking to you. So maybe we'll learn finally what happened to him. I told you not to play with your ball inside the house. Now look at what you've done. I'm sorry. And didn't I tell you to man the store? What are you doing with the ball anyway? I mean, he's just a kid. Clean this up right away. Don't step on the sharp ones. Okay, Dad. Eric, where are you, my son? He looks tired. Hey, Sonny. What are you doing here alone? Why don't you go play with your friends? I want to play with daddy today. Is that not okay? Of course it's okay, kiddo. Here, I have treats for you. Candy! My favorite! That was a nice one. Sunny, son, where are you? No, no, no! Eric, my son! Please come back if it's my fault. I'll... I'm sorry. Not her again. She's evil. Hello, Uncle. I'd like to purchase some fireworks. Do you sell them? Sorry, Raya, but I need to close early. Huh? Why? My son is missing. 
I know he's seldom home on time, but this is unusual even for him. Have you seen Eric anywhere lately? Do you think I should go to the police? No, uncle. I thought he was coming home late because of festival preparations, but no. Why don't you ask him, Raya? Lulu let him join the committee last year. Huh? This again. People keep repeating this memory. If he was busy with the festival, it might keep him on the straight and narrow. I thought you were a smart girl, sensible. I had high hopes for you, but you can't even be bothered to ask him to join your committee. Why should I ask him? So he and his friends can threaten me all over again? That good-for-nothing kid. The world is better without him, isn't it? <gasps> That's an awful thing to say to his father. He's been nothing but a thorn in your side. And mine. Why are you talking about Eric like that? He's my son. Wait, are you... You know something, don't you? Kid, where's my son? What did you do? What did she do? Well... That's too far, Raya. Useless. These people are truly useless. Fine. I'll make my own fireworks. Eek. Raya, wait! That seems like a bad idea. She's gone again. Just like before, what now? A ginger candy? I remember Lulu was looking for this. Raya. Whatever she did, people kept comparing her with Lulu. And with her power, she... How far does it go into people's, into people's minds? How many has she... Aww... Oh. My son, my beloved son, my only son. Where's my son? I'm a bad father. Uncle, you're not. Raya is out of line. I'll find her and she will pay. You can trust me, okay? Who are you? Where's my son? Raya. Raya, do you know where my son is, please? No, I'm not Raya, Uncle. I'm Lulu. Come on, Uncle Buddy. I've been in here almost every day since I was a kid helping you tend the store. You used to always give me my favorite ginger candy before I left. You said it was your late wife's favorite, too. You of all people, you must remember me. Raya, tell me where my son is. Please. So Raya is erasing Lulu from other people's memories. Look what happened with Lulu. Lulu? No one even remembers me. No one. What's going on? Is it everyone else or is it me? Is, everyone, is everything that I remember false? Are these memories real? Nobody remembers me. Nobody knows me. I'm alone. I'm just this weird delusional girl, am I? Do I even exist at all? <gasps> She's fading! Lulu, your body! It's dark. Nobody can see me. Nobody knows me. This is, isn't my world, is it? That's the only reason. I can space dive her, no time to waste. Hang in there, Lulu. Hello? There's nobody here, and everything's in darkness. There's a weird lamp over there, I should check it. Huh? The doorway opened for a moment just now. Maybe it has something to do with this lamp? I 
got the orb. Without the light, we're in total darkness. But the door is open. So? This room looks like it's falling apart. Huh? Hello? Oh, poor little Lulu. Is that Lulu as a kid? She's just crying and crying. I've got to reach Lulu and find out what's going on. The bridge appeared after I adjusted the light. Nice trick. Can I take this? Okay. Large orb. Oh, wait. Maybe I can switch them? I'll take this large orb and the small one. Huh. Hello, are you okay? Why did everyone forget about me? I'm worthless, I'm nothing. Am I even real? I've lost my crown. I've lost everything. Lost her crown? Can I help you with anything? She's just crying. She seems... This place. Where? What were those creepy things? I should check it out. What should I do with this pedestal? There must be some sort of clue around here somewhere. Well, no. Oh! This carving looks like Madame Puspa. the little f lily flower what is that a large statue of a swan with a crown What's this? There are some words engraved on it. A queen is nothing without her subjects. This is the queen's trophy room. Every treasure holds the dearest memory of one of her subjects. I'm sure I have to restore... the memories. The large orb. Ah, okay. Bald as an eagle. This is a statue of Uncle Buddy. Ginger candy. Don't know what goes there. Oh, right? Huh. 
So now it's broken. Okay. So this one... Mr. Agung. The glasses and that stern face. Is it Mr. Agung? Aha! A crown appeared. So, I got the crown. Let's reunite it with its owner. My crown! Yes, I remember now. I'm a queen. I don't need anyone to remind me who I am. I'm strong with or without the approval of others. I'm Lulu. I'm real, even if it... Even if everyone else forgets about me. But why? Why did she need to do all this? To me and to everyone. Why did she... Raya. I have a new page. A new page of fairy tale. The South waved her magic wand, cast her miracle, and gave the signet a crown. Nirmala? That's Nirmala. Uh oh. Lulu, don't go there. Yeah, because after what happened to Eric. Uh oh. Oh no! You shall not pass! You. Are you really Bosuke, the cat in my dream? Why are you here and in this form? You really have no clue what happened. Could you even distinguish reality from fantasy? What's that supposed to mean? You'll see. Oh, enough with the cryptic answers. What's going on? Is Nirmala going to change Lulu into some freaking monster like she did with Eric? It is time. The world has ended. The whole planet will crumble into dust. That's from the draft of a storybook I found. The prophecy. I'm the harbinger of the apocalypse. This world must end to be saved. Doesn't make any sense. There's no other way. Who is Nirmala? Why do I keep seeing her in my dream? Why does she... Uh oh. Now is not the time for these questions. We must make haste. Now go! No! <gasps> Bosuke, Nirmala, what? Raya, why are you doing this? You fake! <gasps> oh no, Lulu! <gasps> Ew! Uh, that's like a swan. Raya, you fake! Lulu! Damn it, she's gone! Where did she go? I need to help her. She said Raya. Is she going to confront Raya? Hey, Atma, let's go to the bridge. Huh? Oh, Admiral? I thought you were in the crash with Eric. Hey, Atma, let's go to the bridge. Raya's waiting for you. Admiral? Raya's waiting for you, Atma. Let's go to the bridge. Shit, Admiral. <laughs> Not you too. What happened to you? Hey, Atma, let's go to the bridge. He's just repeating that. Okay, let's go to the bridge. Where's the bridge? There? Here? No?
There's so many cats. Did I name them all? No. Warlord. Sure. Why not? And you. Soap. Gorgeous. Raya? Raya? Atma, you're here. What? Lulu? Lulu? It's all you! You did this! You ruined this town! You ruined me! It's exactly like I thought. This weird festival, it's all smoke and mirrors! Not just the festival, all of it! The entire school, these people, this whole town! All of this is just a part of your deception! Your plot to steal my identity, to steal my life! Shut up! This isn't the Raya I know. That Raya, she... She's a dreamer, not a liar. She weaves stories from the lives of people around her. She doesn't shove them down their throats. You made these people your puppets with your freaky power of yours. All side characters in a story with you at the center. Shut up! I don't know how to feel about this power of yours, but the one thing I do know is that it's in the wrong hands. You controlled everyone around you and destroyed the people that wouldn't play along. Like Eric, right? You're a coward, afraid of the real world, so you built this messed up one to rule over instead with power you don't deserve. You're an insane, power-hungry, hi hypocritical witch. Shut up! Raya, stop! <gasps> She's laughing. Raya, what's up? You look like you've seen a ghost. I've been looking for you everywhere. Well, I'm here now. What do you need from me? Answers. Where's Eric? What happened to him? Eric is gone. Gone? What do you mean gone? Just tell me back then, did you... Why do you still care about Eric? Why does everyone still care about that prick? He hurt us both! Hurt everybody! He's just a nuisance! But... Enough. I don't want to talk about Eric anymore. The chaos in town, it's your doing, isn't it? Me? Why would I bring all this chaos to Locust City? I love this town and its people. I told you, it's the transgressor. The power I felt from the sky. Whatever it is, it's ruining my perfect plan. Is what Lulu said true? The people at school running the festival, the whole town, you're controlling them all? Why, Raiai? Why do you use your power this way? Because it has to be done, Atma, for a dream. I've been given this power, so I'll use it how I like. And I want to use it to fulfill our dreams. It has to be done, trust me. We talked about this, right? If you use your power too much, your body will... Oh, don't worry about that. Turns out that even after all of this, I feel stronger than ever. It's like I'm invincible. What's going on with this festival? Remember our bucket list? We want to throw a party, right? This is the biggest party there is! The whole town is celebrating with us. I just want to have fun with you, Atma. Yeah, but she's hurting people. Atma, I need you to trust me. I'm sorry, I'm not strong enough. It felt like there was so much standing between us and our dreams. 
But even with, with this power, I can't control everything. But I'll make it right. I'll eliminate the hurdles and then... Then we can spend time together again. We can do everything from our bucket list without obstruction or intrusion. Raya... You know I've never doubted you. And you don't need to be sorry. Please, just stop all of this. Stop messing with things. Let's just do our bucket list together. Atma, do you hate me? No, I... Raya... <laughs> Poor Lulu. Remember... The most perfect world is one with imperfection. That's the truth. That's reality. <gasps> Lulu! Why did everything have to turn out like this? Raya! The only thing I ever wanted, I just wanted to be happy with Atma. A yellow flower? I can space dive her. That magic. What are you doing? How are you? Raya? What is the deal with this book? You keep opening it. She doesn't know. This book. Raya, what? This book. Atma. No. No, no, no. Wait. You. What are you doing with that book? Don't you know how dangerous it is? Who gave it to you? <gasps> Why are you using it on me? It's... Raya, what are you doing? Do you recognize that book? It's a dark portent. A seed of calamity. What? All it does is bring doom and destruction. But what is it? You don't need to know. It belongs to the tr transgressor, the one in the sky. That alone should be enough for you to understand that you can't be in possession of it. I can't believe this. You of all people, with that book. How did this happen? I worked so hard to make sure everything would be perfect. And still, I can't even find something as simple as a firework. But it doesn't matter. Why break my back trying to find some childish plaything when I can show you the real thing? The real deal. A blue flower? The comet? Chapter 3 Lulu? <gasps> Poor Lulu! Is it gonna be like Admiral? Are they all gonna come back? What is going on? I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.